Okay, uh, here's a video. This is a Aladdin blue flame heater. Uh, I picked this up uh, from a friend a little while ago, and uh, he gave me all the parts to fix it, and I got it going, so I thought I'd make a video here. Okay, <clears throat> so it runs on kerosene, um, the top comes off. Pretty flimsy when you first look at it, but it's actually not too bad. Uh, this window isn't glass, it's called mica, it's actually thinly sliced stone. Uh, if you're looking for one, look for one without any cracks in it, or splits, but you can order these online and replace them, because this is the second blue flame heater I have. Uh, this one's actually newer than the one, or older than the other one I have, but this one's in better shape. Um, if you're looking for a heater, um, you have to replace the wick every once in a while. This thing here, just the height of the wick, I don't know if you can see the wick going up and down here. There it goes. Um... This is the flame spreader, it's called. This sometimes goes bad. Gets all melty and clogged up with stuff. Um, this one was pretty gunged up when I got it. I cleaned it up a little bit, but there's still some residue. It sat with kerosene in it for probably 20 years and gunged it up. I had to cut the old wick out. Um, anyway, here, I'll light it up for you and you can see what it looks like when it's running. That's about all it takes. So you make sure you raise the wick up enough so you can light it on fire there. And then close the lid. Now, you can see through the window that it's still too low. So I'm going to bring the wick up. So this one's got a new wick in it. It probably only has, I probably used it for 20 hours now with this wick. You hear it kind of crackling and stuff when it starts up there, but... That's about what it looks like. It'll glow a blue ring right around. It's working its way around there. Mine's got a fuel level in it. Uh, you never want to let this run dry. Uh, try, well, avoid it at all costs. You can and it'll just fizzle out, but uh, every time you run it dry, you burn a little bit more off that wick, and then eventually you have to get a new wick because you burned it out so much. Uh, guys online have told me that... Uh, you should burn it off once in a while to burn out the wick, but I have a wick cleaner. I have this wick cleaner that sits on top. You pull the burnt or the gallery out, and then you rotate this, and the little cutter heads there cut the and shape the wick back to the way it's supposed to be. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway. Look down the top, you can see it glowing blue. Uh, it's kind of burning, there's a little bit of dust I'm kicking around, so it burns like that. But if you burn it too high, it'll look like that, and that's too much. It'll actually start humming and stuff. But getting a good blue flame all the way around is where you want, and you adjust that knob. It's a little too high. Anyway, it puts out about 5,000 BTUs of heat. Uh, <clears throat> I used to use it here in the garage before I got my other heater. It uh, It's not too bad, especially when it's damp in here, because it gets damp and then I turn it on in a couple hours, it'll it'll uh, take the dampness out of the air. Um, usually gets about 15 hours to a tank of fuel, uh, if the wick is good and all clean. Uh, when the wick is dirty, I seem to have to have it up higher, and it will uh, get about maybe 10 hours to a tank of fuel, but it burns really dirty and it starts to smell. Like, there's no odor from it. If it's burning proper, you shouldn't be able to smell anything. Now, I've got another one here. This is my older one, and the wick is, uh... Wick is pretty much had it in this one. This one's got a much cleaner, much cleaner burner in it. it didn't, this one didn't look like it's been used very much, but uh, 
I have to crank the wick all the way up. You can get the wicks off eBay. Oh, and the little window for the fuel level gauge is missing. I'll keep that on. Anyways, you can only burn uh, clear kerosene in them. Don't burn stove oil in them. Just burn clear K1 kerosene. Uh, make sure it's a good quality kerosene. You get the best heat and no smell. You put anything else in it, they start to stink. Anyway, that's my Aladdin Blue Flame Heater. Actually, let me see if I can zoom in on it a little. That uh, stain on the window is the mica. There's two pieces there, and there's like a stain in between them. So, but it's pretty simple to take apart and clean. You can uh, take it apart fairly easily with just some hand tools and, and a steak knife. But then to turn it off, all you do is you turn the wick way down, and you sink the wick back down into it, and then it goes out. Anyway, that's my Aladdin heater.